what if I told you this video wasn't real? Not real as in fake news, I mean generated. Everything you are seeing from the lights to the lip sync, from footsteps to pizza bites is created by Google's AI. They simply call it V3 and it doesn't just edit video, it makes video. You write a sentence, the model turns it into video. No cameras, no actors, no sets. And it's so good, you won't be able to tell the difference. That's not a prediction, that's now. So today we're diving deep into how Google V3 works, why it's terrifyingly impressive and what it means for the future of media. V3 is Google's latest leap in AI video generation and we're not talking about the weird spaghetti drawing experiments of the past. This thing can generate a human with an accent, an outdoor environment with the perfect lighting, sound direction and facial expression. You write a guy eats a greasy pizza at a music festival and V3 shows you a full scene, crowd, sunlight, even audio that gets louder as the guy moves closer to the camera. It's not fake footage, it's not stitched together, it's entirely made up and yeah, it feels real. Not sort of real like your parents wouldn't notice real. Sure, we are not 100% there. Zoom in on some of the clips and yeah, you will notice things. Eyes that feel a bit too still, lips that do not quite track with speech, moments where the illusion cracks. But out of 10 AI videos, maybe 8 or 9 feel real enough to fool anyone at first glance. This is the uncanny valley. Shrinking before our eyes. We used to laugh at deep fakes. Now, we're just quietly confused. Because if you can't tell the difference in the first few seconds, does it even matter anymore? Let's get real for a second. A generated video isn't just a fun party trick. It's a potential nightmare for misinformation, fraud and media trust. Imagine a fake politician say something explosive with voice, face, motion and it looks 100% legit. Now imagine that video go viral before anyone checks it. Google simply knows this risk. That's why they're working on invisible watermarks, AI video detectors and scene transition markers. But still, once something is out there, it's out there. Can you really watermark true? Here's a stat that should scare you. Right now, AI writes over 65% of code at Microsoft. In three months, it could be 80%. In a year, practically all of it. Now, apply that logic to video. Think about AD agency, YouTubers, filmmakers. Why pay for a studio when you can describe a scene? Why even hire voice actors when AI can generate their voices with emotion and timing? This isn't the future, this is 2025 better future. Let's talk examples. Remember those viral Facebook images? Jesus building a house out of matchsticks. A kid sculpting Elon Musk in Madha. You simply knew they were AI, but they had 50,000 likes. Not bots, not trolls, just regular people who didn't question what they saw. And that was just images. Now, videos in the mix and it's exponentially more powerful because humans trust motion. When someone speaks, we believe them. And AI now knows that too. We're at a point where fake looks real and the real might need proof it's real. Sure, AI watermark scale, detection model scale, but will platforms use them fast enough? Will people even care? Some examples Google show might be cherry picked, some might not, but if 90% of people can tell the difference in 5 seconds, that's ball game. Reality just become optional. So, what now? This isn't just about AI replacing humans, this is about trust. In what we see, in what we hear, in what we believe. V3 is the beginning of the video revolution and whether you are exciting or terrified, you need to be informed. Because the next time you scroll past a viral clip, ask yourself, was that real? Or was it Google Free? Thank you.